Welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Corey Goddard. Unity is a great thing when you see it in person, and it was highly visible on October 20th around CCPS. Students and staff participated in National Unity Day by wearing orange to take a stand against bullying. You could see it in hallways and classrooms, whether it was a shirt, a pair of comfy shoes, or some nicely manicured nails. Indian Head Elementary School added a Design Your Own Poster Contest for students to show why they don't like bullying. Unity Day also encourages everyone to be more inclusive and accepting of differences. We asked several students about why they supported Unity Day. I like to celebrate Unity Day because it makes this community peaceful, fun. To so treat people the way they want to be treated because everyone is unique in their very own way. Wear the color orange so people know like, hey, we might not be the closest of friends, but like if you're having a bad day, you can come talk to me. Like I'm there for you. That's why I think Unity Day is important. Making schools bully-free is one way Charles County Public Schools addresses students' mental health concerns. Those concerns have been amplified since the COVID pandemic began. In order to deal with those issues, Henry E. Lackey High School adopted a new program to help students out. Welcome to a meeting of Our Minds Matter. It's a national program which started this school year at Lackey and is student-led. Students meet during the school's activity period with staff to discuss and brainstorm initiatives to address specific mental health issues. We were there when members were organizing kindness cards on October 21st. Each card contains a message of kindness for a teacher written by a student. Once all cards were organized, students hand delivered them to staff like Ms. Markle, the school's art teacher. This is for me, from oh, Noah cool. Hart. I'd like to thank you for being so, Oh! It was all smiles for staff as they received their cards. Based on this small event, Our Minds Matter may just be what the doctor ordered. Honestly, it was, it was a perfect program at the right moment in time. It's something that I think is gonna make a, a major difference in these kids' lives, readjusting to, to the school setting. I always knew they were smart, and I always knew we had so many brilliant kids, but to really give them that opportunity to shine was really, it's really nice to see. Our Minds Matter's national goal is to reduce teenage suicide by giving students strategies and tools to cope with their issues. La Plata and North Point High Schools also started Our Minds Matter clubs this school year. Speaking of North Point, Congratulations to junior Chloe Wooden. She won first place in the Educators Rising National Competition for writing her own children's book, then teaching a lesson on it. Chloe is a second year student in the Education Careers Program at North Point and member and president of the Educators Rising Chapter of Maryland. Educators Rising is a national student-led movement that aims to inspire high school and college students to serve their communities by entering the field of education. Chloe intends to study history or elementary education after high school, but we think she would be equally successful as a children's book author. Congrats, Ms. Wooden. It's time for News to Know, a segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events that you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. Here are some future dates of the SAT and ACT. The SAT will be held on December 4th. The ACT will be held on December 11th. Visit your school's counseling office for more information. Schools will dismiss two hours early on November 5th. Schools will be closed for students only on November 11th, with all schools and offices being closed on November 12th. The board voted in their October meeting to give everyone a day off on the 12th. Again, all schools and offices are closed on November 12th. All schools and offices will also be closed for the Thanksgiving holiday from November 24th through the 26th. Also want to remind you 
the curtain will go up at many high schools in Charles County. Fall play season is here and you can catch a preview and get show times by visiting the link on your screen or watching on Comcast 96 and Verizon 12. Most will be in theaters while two shows will be held outdoors. Contact each school to purchase tickets and by all means, enjoy the show. That will do it for this edition of Newsbreak. I'm Corey Goddard. Thanks for watching and don't forget to set your clocks back an hour on November 7th. We will see you next time.